God's not dead, He surely alive and He's living. Good job, everybody. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. I was glad when they said to me, Praise the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Please join me in saying this month's Bible verse. But as everything, hold fast to what is good. 1 Thessalonians 5.21 Please join me in saying the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in God, Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. Suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He descended into 
judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, born in Catholic Church, communion of sins, the rightness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. All right, let's have you on your feet for the opening song.
Our story today is about learning to obey God in all circumstances and to seek his will in all that we do. Enjoy the story of the Good Samaritan. When Jesus lived on earth, he often told us stories to teach us things. Stories that teach a lesson are called parables. One day, Jesus told a story to a group of Jewish people about a good guy from a place called Samaria. He was a good Samaritan. It all started when an expert in the Jewish law asked Jesus, what must I do to receive eternal life? Basically, he was asking, what can I do to be perfect? Since this guy was an expert in the law, he already knew what he needed to do because he knew all the rules. He just wanted to see what Jesus would say. Of course, Jesus knew what the man was thinking. So he asked him, what is written in the law? The man said, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all of your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. So he asked Jesus, so who is my neighbor? Jesus answered by telling him this story. Once upon a time, a man was going to Jerusalem for Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and then, le and then left him, leaving him half dead. A priest was going down the same road and saw the man beaten and left for dead. You may have expected the priest to help him. After all, it was his job to serve God. He knew that God wanted to help those in need, but he was much too busy, so he went on his way. He decided not to help the man. He kept going and left the man for dead. Then Jesus said, a Levite man came by the side of the road. Levites were assistants to priests, so you may expect him to help the man. He thought about it, but then realized he had more important things to do. He left the man by the side of the road. Finally, Jesus say, said, a Samaritan came along. Remember, a Samaritan is a person from Samaria, that's near Israel, where the God's family lived. But unfortunately, Jews and Samaritans did not get along. They hated each other. Nobody would ever believe that a Samaritan would ever help a Jew. But when the Samaritan remembered what God had commanded him to do, the Bible tells us in Mark 12 to love the Lord your God with all your heart heart, mind, and with all your heart, and with all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. He decided that he would help the wounded man. He knew that God taught us to love each other and take care of each other. Good boys. 
The Samaritans took pity on the man and bandaged his wounds. Then he put the man on his own donkey and brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out money and gave it to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said. When I return, I will pay you what I owe you. After he finished his story, he asked the man, now which one of the men was a good neighbor to the man who got beat up? The expert in Jewish law said, it was the one who had mercy on him. Then Jesus said, go then and do likewise. Think before you act and always remember to do the right thing. When we show love, we are obeying Jesus and obeying God. Doesn't mean just doing what his rules say. It means showing love to everyone. All right, at this time, we're going to take our morning offering. I search the world.
Let's have you stand for our closing song.
Go in peace and serve the Lord. Please help us welcome our wise principal, Dr. Marcourt. Wow, it doesn't get too much better than that, Mrs. Glennon. That was terrific. How about those narrators? Those, those, those little kindergartners read all that information. The narrators, you guys, um, amazing. That was very impressive. Very impressive, very impressive. Hi, Natalia, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm well, thank you. And who are you again? Like, what's your position? Um, I'm the eighth grade rep this year. Oh. So you're an eighth grader? Yes. Okay. Well, you know what today is? Today is May 3rd, 2023. See, our, she's ready to graduate, right? Shoes are tied, knows what the day is. She's good to go, right? All right, a couple more weeks left, right? Yep. All right, we're going to miss you, all of you. Oh, let's not start the crying just yet. <laughs> all right, so Natalia, you get to take us through this month's Christian Character Quality Award and Scripture Verse. So this month's Christian Quality is Discernment. And our philanthropy is OC Rescue Mission. And read the verse with me. One, two, three. But test everything. Hold fast to what is good. First Thessalonians 5, 21. All right. And I think, did ASB put together a little video for us today? I think so. Do we have that to play there, uh, Mr. Hunter? Not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. This month's philanthropy is OC Rescue Mission. ASB is super excited to tell you that we were able to go there in person and see what it's like. We got to read to the kids, play with the kids, and see how they are able to successfully run things there. OC Rescue Mission is a program that helps the less fortunate people in our community to get the guidance, counseling, and job training they need to be successful in the future. They also provide them with food, clothing, a place to live, and health care. They do all this while continuing to spread the word of God. Here's a sneak peek inside their world. When ASB went to OC Rescue Mission, we were able to see how hands-on they were while helping the community. RHLS is proud to support such an amazing organization. Yeah, we went during Literacy Week. Oh, very cool. Did you go? I yeah, think I, I saw went. you in the pictures yeah. there. Yeah, okay. And that was a, that's a good philanthropy for us? I wonder how many people have actually here know of or have been to the Orange County Rescue Mission? Raise your hand if you've been there or served there. Heard of it? I hope you've heard of it. <laughs> it's right down the street, actually, isn't it, on Red Hill? Yeah, it's like pretty close by. So what are we going to be doing to help them as a school during the month of May? What are we, what are we collecting? How are we helping them? Um, so this uh, month we are collecting um, items for hygiene kits, and that includes individually wrapped toothbrushes, toothpaste, travel size lotion or hand cream, chapstick, protein bars or trail mix, bars of soap, black or gray socks, and combs and brushes. So I would, uh, my last name starts with an M. So I would bring uh, some protein bars or trail mix, right? How many should I bring? 240? Probably not. I could get that at Costco. I've seen them. So I could just bring, I could just bring one protein bar if I wanted, right? Yeah, you could bring one, one protein yeah. bar. But they normally sell them in like boxes of 12, right? Yeah. All right. What are you going to bring? 
I'm going to bring combs and brushes. Because your last name starts with a... Y. With a Y. Combs and brushes. Hmm, Mrs. Glennon, what will you bring? <laughs> okay, very good. All right. So I'm going to... That's your assignment today. Before you go home, you check out your last name, the initial of your last name, right? And then you make sure you know what you're supposed to bring by May 24th. So you've got a couple weeks, right? Okay. And if you want help some of your classmates, let them know if maybe they're confused, they can't figure it out, okay? And you can help your teachers too. Um, speaking of teachers, hey, did you guys, uh, oh, Forgot one more thing. This is kind of cool, Natalia. I bet you didn't know this. In this electronic age, there's this shopping um, platform you can go to. It's called Amazon. Have you ever been on there? You heard of that? Yeah, I've been on Amazon. Okay. So it's, it's, a, it's a place you can go to buy things on your computer or your phone. Pretty neat. You can actually go on this uh, amazing platform called Amazon, and they have a special shopping list for hygiene kits for the Orange County Rescue Mission. So you don't even have to look for the protein bar, right? You can just, I could buy a whole pack there. I can't even see it, but there's, there's a lot of protein bars there. And I can save 5% if I do it right now. So, if you guys have ever used this, you might want to try that to get your Orange County Rescue Mission hygiene kits, right? That's kind yeah. of a neat thing. So, back to where we were. Speaking of amazing, amazing people, I don't know if you guys heard this. We're going to embarrass them one more time, but this happened. This happened last Thursday. So, we really never got to talk about it in chapel. Yeah. Uh, This, this is a really cool thing. I don't know if I can make this work. Oh, check this out. Mr. Smith, how much was that check written for? $25,000. All right. That's no joke, right? That's some serious cash, right? Yeah. Um, you can talk to Mr. Smith about um, the hard work and effort and passion he went through. Uh, he was the first ever private school teacher to win this award. It's through the Orange County Department of Education, okay? And most of the public school, all... anyhow, congratulations, Mr. Smith. Speaking of really fun, cool things, Natalia, did you know that our Singspiration group went to Knott's last Friday? It's kind of cool. Huh? And they were, I think they were judged in a, I don't know if they call that adjudicated, that's a big fancy word, um, but they were rated as excellent, and that's one step from the top. So congratulations to our Singspiration group and Mrs. Loden for that great honor. All right, Natalia, it's quiz time. How many people in here know what tomorrow is, do you think? Maybe... I mean, it's Thursday, right? Yeah. Okay, and it's May 4th, but yeah. what really is tomorrow? Tomorrow is National Day of Prayer. All right, tomorrow is the National Day of Prayer. So I urge you, not just in your classrooms or while you're here at school, but maybe at home in the morning, in the evening, kind of gather together as a family and say a prayer for our country, for whatever you'd like. Try to, try to pray for five, 10 minutes. It's actually kind of hard to do, to sit and quietly talk to God. But tomorrow, everybody in our country is going to be doing that, so we want to make sure you're aware of that. Now, you might want to pray for this. You might not. I don't know, Natalia, but what happens Friday? So on Friday, we have our last middle school dance, and the theme is 80s. 80s, all right. OK, I see some of us still have our 80s stuff on. And that's good. We keep it in the closet. What is happening at the dance that all the middle school students need to know about? 
So at the dance, there's going to be a raffle, um, and it's one dollar per ticket. And in the prizes for each class, there's a free dress pass, skip the mile, '80s candy, and more. Okay, so if you go to the dance and you bring a couple single dollars, you can enter the raffle and maybe skip the mile. Yeah, that's probably a pretty, uh, pretty popular one. I don't know what '80s candy is. I don't know. Pez, Pez dispensers, maybe. Eighties. All right. Um, then next week starts Teacher Appreciation Week. Teachers, where are you? Raise your hands. All right, teachers, get ready because next week we're gonna dote on you, okay? And we're gonna start Sunday, uh, and we have a special worship service here, 10 a.m. You're all invited if you can make it. We're gonna kick off Teacher Appreci Appreciation Week this Sunday. And then our PTF is sponsoring a whole week of activities. And I thought that that's interesting what they wrote there. It's true, it's true. This place would be a circus without you. So get ready to appreciate your teachers all next week. Next week we also have something that's good for education. What is that, Natalia? So next week we have a book fair from May 10th to 12th. And there are volunteer slots available, and you just have to email ptf at redhillschool.org to sign up. Okay, so May 10th through 12th, this Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is the book fair. Okay, I think so. And Thursday during Teacher Appreciation Week is also our annual open house. So next Thursday at 5:30, find a picture there. You might recognize somebody in there. You know, our praise band, praise band. You're going to be out front, right? Pastor Seth and others are going to be barbecuing some hot dogs at 5.30. And then at 6 o'clock, you can go on in and see the classrooms, our specialty classrooms. Many of you have not been in some of our specialty classrooms, so it'll be kind of fun if you come and get, a, get to look at that. Following that, what's going to happen on Friday? On Friday, there's a minimum day. All right, so next Friday is a minimum day. And eventually, eventually, um, we're going to get to summer, okay? Now, tomorrow, may the 4th be with you. Have you ever heard that? May the 4th yeah. be with Star you? Star Wars okay. Day. Star Wars. So right now, you can still sign up for summer and get $25 off, but it ends tomorrow, all right? Um, but Miss Caroline, Miss Elias, are, are, you, are you really ready for summer? Because I've been, I don't know if you're really ready. Um, but yeah, yeah, Dr. Are Marquardt. You, are you sure we you're ready? We are Ms. ready Elias? for summer. Yeah, I think we right. are. Because summer camp, it's a big deal around here, right? You have a oh, t-shirt on and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, are you absolutely positive everything is ready and set to go for the nine weeks of summer camp, fun and learning? Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I am. All right. Well, what about? Do you got the water slides? Nine water slides. Nine water slides. Right. Ready to go. All right, but well, the most important thing, do you have all your teachers lined up for all the teachers for nine weeks? That's a lot. Yeah, I do. We have teachers from preschool through middle school, and they are getting their lessons ready. They're planning STEM projects, arts, crafts, music, songs, everything. It's amazing. Have you seen the Legos in Ms. Gomez's classroom? And that's for week nine. That is how ready we are. How about outside? You got those cool drifter trikes ready to go? We've got some drifter trikes, indeed. Check. Snow cone machine? Check. Mm. Craft supplies? Check and double check. Mm. But what about uh, the Papa Shot, the Hex Bugs, the Stilts, the Ice Cream, the Popcorn, the Science Assemblies, the Marble Runs, the Piggy Banks, the Tie Dyes, the Games, the Train Tracks, the Building Straws, the Dance Party Music, and the Karaoke? Check, 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 double check, and check. Mm. But. 
do you have the best and most important part of summer ready, camp ready to go? Ooh, the most important part of summer, that is... Don't forget this. It's the most really important, important. We can't forget that. And I promise to make sure that that most important part is what we focus on, but I might need a little bit of help. I mean, the most important part is how we get to share God's love with so many campers, but we can't do that unless we have God, yes, and Campers, Ooh, all of need, you, we need people. all of you right? need to sign up for camp. Now, a lot of you have. Raise your hand if you're already signed up for camp. Yes, it's fantastic. But we need you to invite your friends. And if you haven't signed up, please make sure you do so before that discount goes away. And then I think we'll be all set. All right, so sign up before they lose the discount. Shh. Thank you, Mrs. Elias, Thank you. for all of your preparation and hard work on that. You are ready to go. All right, and we're going to show you a very short video on Vacation Bible School, which is one of the weeks. Can we play that real quick, Mr. Hunter? Week two of our summer program is VBS, so that's kind of a very, very special week, and we invite everyone to all the summer programs, but especially that week. Ms. Glennon, can you bring your class back up here? Can you bring them out here? We want to hear them lead us in some praise and worship singing as we wrap up chapel today, and thank them one more time for an amazing job today presenting chapel to us. Have a blessed week.